Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students, in last lecture we did question number 6 of exercise 9.5 and the topic is the graph of absolute value trigonometric function. Today we are going to do question number 7. But before I start this question, kindly those students who are watching my lecture first time, kindly first go to my playlist. There is a folder, name is AdMath. Watch all previous lectures of this exercise. Then you will have good command on this topic. So let's start question number 7, exercise 9.5. Question number 7 you can see on the screen. On the same grid, sketch the graph of y is equals to 0 0.5 plus sin x absolute value and y is equals to cos x for 0 to 360 degree. So this is your domain. So first we have to make the table of y is equals to 0 0.5 plus sin x modulus or absolute value. So take your calculator, write 0 0.5 plus sin 0, you will get 0 0.5. Then 0 0.5 plus sin 90, you will get 1.5 and so on for 360, 0 0.5 plus sin 360, you will get 0 0.5. Then we sketch the graph of y is equals to cos x, make the table for 0, 90, 180, 270, 360 degrees. When x is 0, then y is 1. When x is 90, then y is 0. When x is 180, then y is minus 1. When x is 270, then y is 0. And when x is 360, then y is 1. So, start to plot the points of both the equation one by one. So for first equation, when x is 0, then y is 0 0.5. When x is 1, then y is 1.5. When x is 180, then y is 0 0.5. When x is 270, then y is minus 0 0.5. And when x is 360, then y is 0 0.5. But students, because we are sketching the graph of absolute valued function, so all those points which are below the x-axis are reflected. So there is only one point that is at 270 then the value is minus 0 0.5 this should be reflected to positive x-axis so this is the point now join these points to get the graph So if we take one more point between 180 and 270, so it will be better for us.
ओके नॉट नेसेसरी टू टेक सो दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव प्लस साइन एक्स एब्सोलूट वैल्यूड फंक्शन वेर द रेड क्रॉस इज रिफ्लेक्टेड नाउ कम टू नेक्स्ट ग्राफ वाई इज इक्वल्स टू कॉस एक्स इट्स वेरी इजी वेन एक्स इज जीरो देन वाई इज वन वेन एक्स इज नाइंटी देन वाई इज जीरो वेन एक्स इज वन एटी देन वाई इज माइनस वन फॉर एक्स इज टू सेवेंटी जीरो एंड फॉर थ्री सिक्सटी द वैल्यू इज वन प्लॉट दीज पॉइंट्स so this is the graph of y is equals to cos x what next look at carefully part b of question number 7 state the number of roots of the equation 0.5 plus sin x modulus is equals to cos x for 0 2 3 60 degree so look at carefully the both the graphs so how many points where the graph both the graphs cuts each other one point and second point so the answer of part b should be number of solutions are this is the answer of part b because there are only two points which cuts both the curve so student this is question number 7 of exercise 9.5 i took 90 degree intervals in both the graph but if you want to take another interval like 30 30 or 45 or 60 60 no matter you will get the same answer you will get two solutions okay students what next in this exercise only two questions are left question number 8 and question number 9 no issue no problem we will do remaining two questions in next lecture until unless do practice more and more and more and if you like my videos if you are satisfying my videos kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos to all of your friends all of your class fellows okay students good luck for next lecture